first we will start with watercolor or dissolve technique. I decided to call it like that. And I will show you how to use this technique using absolutely different products. And after I'll do some demo at the moment now, and then I will explain how it works because that will be easier if you will see it first and then I will give you some tips. I recommend you to use gloves at all times like right now I'm not working with a model just tips but I still use them because I do not want to get in contact with gel. Actually you know when I'm even cleaning out my drawer with gels or I'm just mixing gels I also wear gloves all the time because you know I just don't like this feeling when something sticky is on top of my nail. For this one you will need a light background. I will be using white. You can do white as well if you want to repeat everything like I have but it's optional. You can also have any pastel background like light blue, light pink, light, uh, light yellow, any. Okay, so I will cover a tip with a white gel polish. That's white on white, but you will see some <laughs> what's going on here at the moment. So I will cure that and you can, uh, let's just apply two or three tips at once. So I will do white. Another one will be white as well. Actually, that's after clear, white is my favorite color. <laughs> well, obviously, yeah, you can tell because my gloves are white. And then I will also do one dark. So I will use black and you can do black or any dark color like a dark blue, dark green, dark brown. I have a black tip. So black, I mean Anastasia, white on white tip, black on black, like <laughs> is everything okay? Um, the thing is, even if my tip is black, I still have to have gel polish on top. So otherwise, I mean, it will not work on directly on plastic. Okay. So, well, depending on the product, like for my mine, 60 seconds in LED will be definitely enough. So now I'm going to use a regular deep and dish like any small glass or big glass will work. And I'm going to use cleanse. This is regular gel cleanse, but you can also use alcohol. It's just in my area where in my country it's not possible to buy alcohol. So, well, unless it's vodka. So that's why I'm going to use cleanse. So usually alcohol or gel cleanse, uh, any brand works just great. I will also have a tissue so we can clean up if we will accidentally make some mess. And also I will use a brush. This one is, I believe, number one. But do not use your favorite brush at this time, okay? It has to be some brush that you don't like. You hate. Because we're going to dip it in the cleanse and that's not very good for the brush. We have the first tip which is cured. And now I will show you the easiest way on planet Earth to do marble. Um, I'm going to use marble tints. If you don't have marble tints, that's fine because I will be using gel polishes afterwards only, you know, just in another way. So this one is by Sharon Nail Job, but many, many brands have them as well. Like they're at exclusive nail couture and some brands call them watercolor drops. There are different names for them. I will be using this one red and you don't have to take off the sticky layer. Then we'll just do a line. Ooh, so pretty, right? And then with a cleanse, I will just start fading the line from one side. So the excess water, I will just let it absorb into the tissue. And then I will go from the other side. Again, the excess color, uh, excess water, excess cleanse, I mean. I just let it absorb into the tissue. And if you want to have some, I personally love when you have some white clean areas in your marble. That's why I prefer to keep them clean. So you can do it like that. Or if you are okay with the whole area, with the entire surface being red, that's fine as well. Now, well, that's it. That's how easy it is. So we just let it dry. 
for a while. So like I told you, this is the easiest way on planet Earth uh, to do marble. And you have to let it dry. It's air dried, so you don't have to cure it, but you need to wait like for a couple of minutes. Now we're going to do another one. And this one is also one of the easiest in the world. And we're going to use something different again, but unlike marble tents, I bet you guys all have it in your houses. Well, even if you don't, it's definitely easy to find it. And this is Sharpie, permanent marker. Um, I actually tried many other brands because Sharpie is not the most popular in my area. And actually Sharpie is there the best for this technique. All right, so we are going to draw a line. Once again, it, lo it looks so pretty at the beginning, right? Like, like some four year old <laughs> art. And then just, this is also important that you work quickly. Just do not sit here and wait, like start dissolving it. Start creating this fade. So once again, I'm using uh, cleanse. Alcohol will work as well. Excess water, just use the tissue. Or when you're working with a client, you can do it like that. So, okay, so here we have kind of too much black. I mean, maybe, you know, if your client is like, oh my God, I'll, I love it, let's just leave it. Then you just leave it. But if you feel like you want to fade it more, or if you want a bit less dark colors, then just keep going. Like we just noticed there are no, not that much rules in abstract designs, especially in marble. And then you just let it dry. I mean, honestly, with this design for me, you know, it's sometimes it's just hard to stop. I just want to keep going and fading and blending. But you have to some point. Let's do the same thing but using gel polish. This is paper. This is not just regular paper, you know, a paper with a shiny part on it. You can also use foil. Foil will work great or like a file folder, you know, some slippery surface will work fine for that one. And let's do the opposite. Let's do a uh, black marble with a dark background. Okay, so I have black. I do not take off the sticky layer. Then I'm going to use white. I got white and white again. Worse. And then I'm going to mix that. I will hold it like that so you can actually see what's going on there. Mix it with cleanse until I achieve the consistency which is almost like water. Not like uh, gel, not like olive oil water. And once again, I do not recommend you to use your favorite brush for it. Just imagine that you're shaking, like there's a hurricane uh, or, er, I mean, earthquake. Okay, do not create this line like perfectly straight. And you just go to one direction or, you know, like you're trying to write, trying to write something and somebody's shaking you like, let's go, let's go. Now we take the brush with the cleanse and blend it again. So this time I'm using only nail products. I just wanted to show you that this technique works with so many different things. And I mean, you can just choose the one that works for you. So it's up to you. Do not be afraid if you add too much alcohol or cleanse on top and it's like all watery. You can always, um, let me show you how I do that with the clients. I just use a lint-free napkin because, you know, we don't want any fuzz on the nails. And this is how you absorb the extra. So at this point, once you're happy with, the, with what you see, then you just cure it in the LED. So this one you have to cure because we use gel. But before you, well, actually it doesn't matter when you will absorb the cleanse or alcohol because usually they evaporate pretty fast. Well, I feel like having a bit less white here. I just want to have more dark background. Okay, I think that will be it. 
now let's form. Now you will need your a good brush. Remember there is a linear brush number zero or one in our list. So this one is white mixed with uh, cleanse. And then I will take a white. Well, at this point, if you have a white gel paint, that will work just great. If you do not have one, that's fine. Gel polish will work as well. And now I just want to add a couple accents on the lightest parts of our design. Here, that will be probably this one and this one. Okay, so once again, imagine like you're trembling, you're shaking, okay? Somebody's shaking you. Do not do any straight lines at this point. Well, at least for this design. Okay, so I'm just putting it and like, oh, I'm shaking. Because, you know, I hear this complaint a lot when students are struggling with uh, fine lines. They're like, like, my hands are shaking. I cannot do any lines straight. Well, this design will just perfect. And let's add probably here. Okay, and that's it. Do not outline everything, the entire design, okay? That will be a big mistake if you do that. Now let's cure. And also, now these designs are a bit dry and we can actually add something. For example, a golden foil will work just fine. And it can be any foil. Transfer foil, you can also use a regular type of foil. So this one, I just crumpled it up, you know, so it will not be like a whole piece. Well, we'll see. We had the white gel polish on the background, so maybe we have some sticky layer left. We'll see. If we don't, then we just will add some. Yeah, actually, we have some. You see, there's a little bit of gold now. Yeah, so for this design, I think you don't really need to add like a lot. Well, once again, it depends on you and your client. If she's begging, then of course, feel free to do that. I think that will be enough. Also, the gel polishes in the pencil are really great to, uh, for that because uh, you can, you know, just use a little bit of this glitter and just apply it whenever you need. That's pretty fast and simple. You don't have to take like a special brush or something. And another simple way is simply to use um, any glitter gel or gel polish that you have with a sponge and just sponge it in a certain areas. Okay, now this one is ready. I think we will not be adding any glitter for that one. Now we can seal them with a top coat. Actually, matte top coat also looks pretty well with marble. And also, once you seal it, it looks so much better and so much deeper, especially the black ones. Because usually you look at the black and you're like, well, I don't know, but once you apply the top coat, now you see how deep it looks. It looks so much better. Okay, so while I'm curing that, I would like to show you more designs that I did using the similar technique. And honestly, to tell you the truth, when I line them up, usually no one can tell which technique I used, whether it was a Sharpie, whether it was a gel polish or a marble tint, because the, well, I mean, they always come a little bit different, but as you can see, um, there it's always, you know, just kind of cool, but different. This one and this one and this one, they're matte. I probably cannot really tell the difference, but they look both great, whether it's matte or um, shiny.